Kucha in the suburbs of Kyiv. At the start of the invasion, Russian forces occupied this quiet little town for a month. The damage is still visible. Past the residential areas lies the training stadium for Kyiv's second football club, Obolon. It's named for the Ukrainian breweries owned by the club's president. Since the start of the war, Ukrainian officials say the Russian army has destroyed about 100 sports facilities and complexes. In Bucha, the stadium manager shows the pieces of shrapnel he found near the field when the Russians attacked. I was in Bucha, of course, until the 11th of March. I was looking to be able to flee, despite the bombings. Despite the Rushists stepping over corpses, seeing so much blood. Rushists, a contraction of Russians and fascists, an insult widely used in Ukraine. Despite the continued fighting, the country's sports minister announced the Premier League will resume matches starting on August 23rd. It's a positive decision. Football must continue in Ukraine. It's also a sector that employs people. It's work. For the players, it's a chance to show that life goes on. It's also a way to pay tribute to those fighting. We're proud of our uh, army. They can kick them out, uh, the Russians. We are walking, we are trying to uh, live our uh, best life. Because continuing to live in Kyiv, Bucha or elsewhere in Ukraine is a form of resistance, too.